Merry Christmas, guys! I didn't even notice that it had been a whole month since I last made a video. Like, who do I think I am? And you guys have been so consistent, and you guys have been DMing me on Instagram, like, and where are you? And what are you doing that's so important to where you can't make a video? I literally was supposed to make a video Friday, but... Some things came up and I just couldn't. But you guys understand. You got me. I wanted to say welcome to the LEP family to all of my new subscribers. Twerk some, twerk some, twerk some. Twerk some, twerk some. But um, let us just get right into this video. Welcome back. So as you guys can see in the title of this video, this is a tattoos and piercings video. And I was prolonging this video because I will be getting another tattoo later on this week. But I've just decided to put a video out. I mean, it's Christmas for God's sake. It's Christmas and I have not had a video out. So here it is. In this video, I will be posting pictures just so you guys can visually see these piercings. Mind you, I was young, but I'll tell you guys how old I was, so let's just get right into it. Yeehaw! Okay, so we're going to start off with piercings. Um, as soon as, like on my 18th birthday, um, I had went and got my nose pierced. And on a scale of 1 to 10, that was a 3. It only throbbed and then the pain was just over. And that was one of my favorite piercings. It probably still is my favorite piercing. But unfortunately you can tell that I don't have it anymore. So yeah. Um, my next piercing was my eyebrow piercing. And I will show you guys pictures of my eyebrow with my nose piercing. Just so you guys can see. I had my eyebrow pierced for about two months, two, three months. I know I did not keep that pierced for too long because then I was going job hunting. And I mean, you can't really have that stuff in your face when you're going job hunting. So I had to take it out. And on a scale of one to ten, that was probably a three. The only thing about that piercing was it was hot as hell outside. And... It was I was sweating a little bit so the sweat was like getting into the piercing irritating it even more so that was just fuel to the fire even though there was no fire I mean it didn't really hurt at all mind you I paid $30 for my nose piercing and $30 for my eyebrow piercing so I mean that was cheap as hell um my next piercing I think that was the last piercing I had got while 18 my 19th birthday, I got my nose re-pierced because I took the nose ring out and didn't know how to put it back in. So I let the hole in my nose close, but the hole on top would never close. And to this day, you can still see the hole on my nose. And that was, it went from a 3 to probably a 5 because my nose was still in the healing process. I'm sorry if my lighting is weird. It seems like it's about to rain. And the sun is, I don't know, it's like getting really dark now. I hope you guys still can see me. The sun is like, it looks like it's going down, but the clouds are clouding the sun. So I should probably turn some light on. Probably not. I hope you guys can see me. Okay, I'm trying to remember where I left off. I'm just too busy hoping you guys can see me. I should probably just go outside. 
um, just so you guys can see me better. But hold on. Y'all, it's in the middle of the day and they over here drinking while I'm freaking trying to record a video. Who do they think that they are? Okay, so I left off 19 nose piercing. So after I got that pierced, I March 1st, I went and got my tongue pierced. And my tongue piercing was my favorite piercing after my nose piercing. Oh my god, my tongue was my, oh, it hurt it so bad. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say that was a, between a 6 and a 7. Like, that hurt it so bad. I remember my mouth being numb and just slob was coming out. I'm going to insert a clip of when I first got it done. Like, Hi, YouTubers, it's me. I just wanted to make this really short video because I got my tongue pierced. And I don't know what to eat. But it all, I loved my tongue piercing. Unfortunately, I let it close earlier this year around February. So, I my tongue is no longer pierced, as you guys can probably tell if you can see my tongue as I talk. <laughs> um, the next piercing I got, I got my cartilage pierced. As you can still see, it's still pierced. Um, I skipped these two piercings because, I mean you get the first one when you're a baby the second one I got with my best friend but hers got infected so she had to let it close and then get it repaired later on down the line but I skipped those piercings but I went and got my cartilage pierced um I was still 19 on a scale of 1 to 10 that probably was a 3 that didn't hurt at all the lady kind of had a hard time piercing my ears because my ears are different. They're not, like, identical like a normal person. I don't know. But um, one thing I say is I have my mother and my father's ear because they're different. But she was so shocked that I didn't cry or I didn't flinch when she pierced my ears. It, I mean, it didn't hurt at all. But my cartilage piercings are the only piercings that still hurt. They get irritated, they get swollen, I have to take them out, they're aggravating, and sometimes I contemplate on, you know, letting them close, but I probably won't let them close anytime soon anyway. So, I think that was the last piercing I got that year. Um, I think I was 21 when I got my septum pierced, and um, a couple of weeks ago, I just recently let it close because I literally never wore it down in the last video if you guys can remember I had my septum showing but the reason I took it out was because I totally forgot I had it and I decided let me just wear it down another reason why I haven't been making videos is because I've been sick and um, anybody who has a septum anybody who has their septum piercing ill anybody who has their septum pierced knows that when you're sick it is just terrible it's I, I want to explain to you guys the real reason why I let it close I mean it was a very disgusting piercing and I mean it's just in your nose so it's just not a good thing for me it wasn't that kind of was a waste of time and money for me to go get that pierced but whatever it is what it is. On a scale of 1 to 10, that one hurt it too. I would say that was a 6. That one really did hurt. Luckily, when I got that pierced, it was winter here and it was freezing outside. So when I stepped outside, my nose just like, it was so cold that it got numb and the pain went away. So I was like, cool. Um, My next pier I'm like flying through these piercings because I really don't have them anymore. But, um... My next piercing, I, oh, this year, on Easter, if you guys watch my vlogs, if you guys watch my videos, you would know that I got my nipples pierced. Um, they are about going into nine months since I've had them so far, and they've gotten better. 
I mean, people say that it takes about a year for them to heal. I like I said before, I'm nine months in, and yeah, um, when I got them pierced, my right breast bled a little bit, which kind of scared me. Oh my God, guys, that is a pain I can't even really explain to you guys. Like that pain was. I'm gonna give that on a scale of one to ten. Nipples piercing was about a ten. It's quick. One thing about it is you get this throbbing pain that eventually goes away. But the pain is quick. It goes away fast. But it's just like that pain. It's, it just hurts so much. <laughs> I can't. You guys got to go and experience it for yourselves. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see pictures of like shirts that I've had on where I didn't wear a bra. You can see the piercing. Um, well, I insert pictures. guys I keep relocating but it's all about lighting honey it's all about lighting doling you got to get the lighting doling <laughs> um <laughs> uh first tattoo so I was 19 when I got my first tattoo I kind of like forced myself into it because I was so afraid because you have all these people telling you oh oh my god it hurts so bad um you're never gonna want any more but when you do get your first one you're gonna be addicted you're gonna keep getting them back and back back to back to back to back which wasn't really the case. I mean, I get it when I crave it in a way. I mean, I can't really say crave. When I get this feeling where I'm just like, oh, my God, I need new ink. I'm, I'm at that feeling right now. I'm like, oh, my God, I need new ink. So my new tattoo will be in another, the updated piercings and tattoo video. Or maybe just tattoos because I doubt I'll be getting any piercings. But um, my first piercing is on my back. I mean, piercing. Oh tattoo and it says happiness is just a smile away and the meaning for that is just to remind myself to always be happy even in situations where you just naturally feel sad or upset or melancholy or just fears like just upset and unfortunately it's on my back so I can't see it to remind myself to be happy but I I mean it's a quote of course I don't know like where I got it from I'm convinced that I made it up I probably didn't but I mean I've never heard this quote anywhere I've never it just kind of came to mind I originally was going to get it in Spanish but it was just too long so um I had this UCF coupon anybody who goes to UCF know that think behind UCF coupon book I had the, um, a coupon to get a tattoo it was a percentage off and yeah I think I got that for about 60 bucks and I like I said before I will insert pictures so that was when I was 19 on a scale to 1 to 10 it was about a 2 it's like as soon as he started he was already finished and um this was the only tattoo that i got that i they had to redo basically um my next tattoo is on my finger i'll just show you guys and it says bonita can you guys see okay oh no oh where there it is um the reason i got that is because i wanted something in spanish if you guys don't know, Spanish is my first language, so that's why I love Spanish so much. It's one of my favorite languages. And I got this with my best friend. She thought to get it on our fingers because she got armor and then she got a heart. And I don't know. It still looks good, though. It's like it's not faded. I mean, it still looks good. I always forget that it's there, but this tattoo reminds me to always feel beautiful to always feel pretty but it also has a double meaning it lets me embrace when I feel ugly like it lets me embrace those days where I wake up and I look like Donkey Kong's butt like I don't want to go into depression when I feel like I'm ugly I want to embrace that ugliness I want to embrace Donkey Kong's butt so <laughs> that's the meaning of this tattoo this tattoo was actually the cheapest we paid $20 so 
So probably would never get another tattoo that cheap, but hey. Um, I got this one done in Orlando. I got this one done in Miami. It really, really don't matter where I got it done, actually. <laughs> but um, my next tattoo is the biggest. Well, I won't really say the biggest. Oh, hold on. Let me. I had did my hair before this video, which is crazy because my hair was straight yesterday. And then I put some products in it and it just shrank down and whatever. But it, this is my cheetah print tattoo. I'm pretty sure if you guys follow me on Instagram or you guys have been watching my videos long enough, you've seen this tattoo like all the time. I've had this tattoo for what feels like forever. This is actually, this tattoo hurt it the worst out of all the tattoos that I have, which I only have about five. I feel like I have hair on my lip. I only have about five tattoos, but this one hurt it the worst. Like he did an amazing job on it. And um, in one of my older videos, I was telling you guys that I had used some Jergens lotion and I grew some white bumps on it. And when I went back to cocoa butter, the bumps went away. So that was a scary moment because I thought it was infected. You know, yeah, that's one scary thing about piercings and tattoos is infections and ugh. But um, yeah, this is the only tattoo that don't have a meaning. I just wanted it and I got it. Originally, it was supposed to be on my thigh, but ooh, baby, when they told me that price, no, 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 I put here. So, I got it there. <laughs> my next tattoo, where is my next tattoo? Oh, uh, my next tattoo I actually got this year around March or April, and it's Zane's song, Pillow Talk, the lyrics, uh, it's our paradise and it's our war zone. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a paradise. Yeah. So I went with one of my good friends to get that. She got pillow talk on her arm, and I got that down my ribs, and I will show you guys a picture of that. The funny thing about it was I the place that I went to go get my nipples pierced is the same place who did that tattoo. The girl who did that tattoo, she was high as hell, but she did a good job. She was 19 years old. It was just so crazy. But she did a good job. I told myself that I would never go back to that um, tattoo parlor because I, when we were getting this tattoo, I didn't feel like she was the only one who was on something. Of course, you can tell she was on weed. But the dude who pierced my nipples, he was running around, screaming, acting crazy. Like, I think that dude was on something he was on a whole nother level and it just seemed like the people who worked there was all acting crazy and I just did not feel like no I mean he was civilized when he pierced my nipples but it's like when I went in there to go get this tattoo done he was running around I don't have time I was just like, okay let's just get this on uh, tattoo and then we gonna go and we're not gonna come back actually I wouldn't mind going back to her, but I just feel like she don't have a lot of experience, but she was really good. So, um, my next tattoo is my last tattoo thus far. Did I go through, do I have five tattoos? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I do have five tattoos. Okay, so this is tattoo number five. It is actually my favorite tattoo. And by far, I don't think there will be any other tattoo that I have that's just as amazing as Darth Vader. Guys, my camera ran out of memory. So, um, I was explaining to you guys, this is Darth Vader. I'm pretty sure you guys already know. Um, I got this tattoo, I believe, in September. So, it hasn't been too long. Um, you guys can't really tell, but the parts that let me see if I can kind of hold this like parts like right here and right here he had tattooed that in white and when my tattoo started to peel all the white was just like not nah, not today maybe tomorrow you could try it again some other time but I actually like it the way it is I want to go back and get it like shaded in more 
but um i am dedicating this sleeve to star wars you guys know that i'm a huge star wars fan and you probably just found out that darth vader is my favorite character i have not seen the new star wars yet so don't freaking ruin it for me don't please i know we're all friends just don't ruin it for me <laughs> just don't anyways um that is all of my tattoos what do you say there?